Here with me today is Senator Rick Santorum. He's attending the 49th annual March for Life. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Great to be with you. So what prompts you to come to this march today? Uh, well, I've been coming to the march for a long time, and uh, even the days I didn't come to the march, I was over there in the Capitol when the march was going on and working. So uh, you know, this, is a, uh, this is an important time for, uh, for the pro-life community, not only to, to me, to celebrate the, the, what, the, what the pro-life movement's about, but to protest. I mean, this is a protest march about what the Supreme Court did 49 years ago, 50 years ago now, and, and, and protest their, uh, their usurping the authority of making decisions about, the, uh, about the, the dignity of life, taking it away from the American public, and having six people decide what life is. And that's, uh, that's wrong, and uh, we're gonna protest that until hopefully in a few months, uh, they overturn that decision. And we know you've been a very vocal defender of the unborn for years now, and we know that you've seen for years as the media ignores the March for Life, pretends it doesn't exist. Why do you think that is? Uh, it's interesting. Uh, you know, I worked for CNN for a few years, and uh, one of the years I've, I've you know, I, I kept pestering them. And one year, I, I said, you know, you covered this, uh, uh, the march after the Trump election uh, with a women's march here in Washington. I said, you know, there's a march in a couple of weeks that's going to be three times the size of the women's march, you aren't even going to cover it. And they, and so I guilted them into actually awesome. having a reporter and they walked around. That's the last time they did it. I mean, the reality is uh, that it doesn't serve their agenda to, to, to show what this march is. And, and you have your camera pan around. You know, you, you'll see you'll see a few gray beards around here, but you're going to see young people. I mean, this is a young people's movement. This is These are people who have known nothing but abortion on demand as the law of the land. They've been taught in their schools that abortion is okay. They've been, Hollywood tells them abortion is okay, but they know it's a lie. And and they're willing to, to stand up and be what young people should be, countercultural when it comes to a culture that's corrupt. And uh, that's what's exciting about this march. And you're a father. What do you think is the best way to teach young people to respect the lives of the unborn? Um, look, just, you know, you hear the, the left all the time about, oh, follow the science, follow the truth. Look, the truth and the science are, are decided. A, a human being is created at the moment of conception. That's just a fact. It's a biological fact. And, and everything else that we do in, in this country is to twist and turn people's feelings and emotions to ignore the truth. And uh, the reality is that life is hard and people who make bad decisions or things happen to them that, that, that are unfortunate or tragic have to deal with the consequences of it. And, and that's life. And, and, and to say that, no, we can, we can eliminate your hurt and your pain by allowing you to kill your child is a lie. And, and so the, the, the beautiful thing is, is this, tell your children the truth. Tell them what life is. Tell them the biological fact and say that eliminating a human life doesn't help end struggle, doesn't help end track. Life is about a struggle and embracing your responsibility that, that God gives you is, is the real gift of life. All right. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Well,